Porto is so incredibly special that it's one of the few places in the world where you can have a swell that travels thousands upon thousands of miles before it gets there and can still be you know, 25 foot you know, or, or bigger. Most places you need that local storm, needs to be a ton of swell where there, it'll take nothing and it'll be huge. So every time you paddle out in the dark, you never know what it's actually gonna be like. So the sun comes up and you know, we kind of see where the main peaks, you know, the main energy of the swell is focusing on the beach. You go and you sit there and then it just becomes that patience game. Uh, and that's just the three hours, you know, back and forth, you know, dodging, you know, big closeouts, trying to find the corners, just missing them, trying not to get frustrated and, and staying positive that eventually it's going to you know, come to you and uh, eventually they do. This particular set you could see had you know, some definition to it and I remember just paddling as hard as I could down the beach to catch up to where you know, these peaks were coming and Nick Lamb was already down there. He rode the wave right before mine which was actually bigger. I remember just seeing where he was paddling into, you know, just trying to get over to where he was so I was able to catch up and actually get a little bit deeper than he was sitting and, and line mine up right after. I put my head down and you know, paddle into this thing. and. I'm grabbing my rail off the bottom, hit these three weird ribs, and they completely throw me off balance. And you know, I end up you know, going too high up the face in order to redirect. I have to completely let go of my rail and you know, twist my body to get my momentum going back down again. The second I was in the barrel, you know, people always say, oh, you got a, you know, this amazing no-grab barrel the whole way. Far from the truth. The second that I was back and had a line, I grabbed the hold of that damn thing, and I you know, was holding on for dear life. And, I remember inside, you know, one second the foam ball lifted me up, you know, shot me forward and then I just had that clean line out of it and came out with a spit. Oh, it was one of those, it happened so fast, so out of control that, you know, by the end, you know, I was almost you know, laughing at myself just how lucky I was to make it. You know, there was no deliberate, you know, no grab standing tube, it was all accident. Picked out and went and sat for another four hours and didn't catch another wave.